It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to talk about pencils. Now, uh, recently, a question I've been getting a lot is um, about my pencils, the, the pencils that I use. Uh, and I know I've talked about them uh, before in previous videos. Uh, usually I, I'll mention them in passing while I'm drawing something. Um, but the, the question has come up a lot. People really uh, want specifics regarding uh, the pencils that I use. So I thought, let's, let's just go ahead and do a video where I talk about uh, the various uh, tools that I use. And there aren't that many. Uh, I really do most of my stuff with very, very few pencils. Um, there are a couple different ones that I use, but for the most part, you know, there's just a few. There's just uh, not that many. So uh, here, the, here are the three main pencils that I will use, and and really, there's a fourth one that will that I'll talk about in a moment. In a moment, but um, really, the main one is this one right here, and this is. Um, I, I use this so much that the uh, the logo on the pencil uh, has worn away. So this is actually a similar pencil. And there you could see, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but you could see it, it's the brand is Alvin. It's, a, it's an Alvin. Uh, what it says here on the side is a Draft Tech Retrack. Um, it's a mechanical pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. Um, this one is a 0 0.3 millimeter. So this one is on the thin side. I, I don't know if you could see on the, uh, the, the lead at the very tip of it. There's the lead right here. Uh, it's a very thin lead. I, I use this when I want to stay very light and whenever I'm drawing really tiny figures, I'll use, because this is a very, very fine lead. So it's good for that, that really ultra fine detail. So I, I, I pull this one out for special occasions. Now the, the pencil that I use uh, mostly is this one. And, and as I showed you before, I, I once upon a time, this one did have a, a logo just like my, my 0.3 millimeter um, and that just that just gives you an indication how little I use the 0.3 and how much I use this one now this one is a 0.5 millimeter and I I'm gonna try my best to see if if we can get the difference between these two on camera the 0.5 millimeter is a little bit thicker so the 0.5 millimeter is the one I use the most so this is an Alvin, an Alvin mechanical pencil with a 0 0.5 millimeter lead. Now, um, a couple of little details about this pencil, uh, and uh, the, the features go for the, the 0.3, uh, same thing. But um, if I click on the back like this, I can extend the point. I can hold down the clicker and adjust the the length of the tip. I can also just plunge the 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 back clicker and just retract the whole the whole point. So if I was um, oh, let me just push that back in. There we go, and retract the whole point. So if I was putting my pencil away um, for a while or traveling with it and I didn't want the point to break, I may want to retract it like that. And then when I go to use it, click it, and out it comes again. And then I could click it not as hard to extend the tip, the point there. Um, the other thing, too, is this is totally refillable. And that's, that's the real beauty of it. Um, I mean, obviously, I draw a lot. And when I'm drawing, um, why I use a mechanical pencil is, uh, you know, while I'm drawing, if I were using a wood pencil, I, I'd be drawing so much that I'd be constantly sharpening this pencil. Um, I'd, be, I'd be constantly stopping to sharpen the pencil to get the point that I want. With the mechanical pencil, I always have a thin point, 
and rather and as this wears away i can just draw and click and keep extending the point now eventually yeah i'm gonna run out of lead but as i said this is refillable now to refill it i can pop take off the back cap and it's got an eraser there uh, I, I usually don't use that eraser much really um, but I can just pop off the eraser and that extends, that exposes the interior where I can, now this is a little uh, container uh, with re, uh, that contains the replacement LEDs. So if I pop this open, there are, I could take out, these are very thin, so you got to really be careful, otherwise they, they snap very easily. And these are the 0.5 uh, millimeter LEDs. So I'm just going to take two, okay, because I haven't run dry here yet. So there's probably a few, actually, as I shake this, I don't hear anything. So it, this may have been on the verge of going empty anyway. So I'm just going to slide those in, just let those drop in. One, two, you know. Since it's almost empty, I'm going to give it one more. I'm just putting it in here, just letting it drop in. And once that is, once they're in there, I'm going to put the eraser back in and cap the eraser. And, uh, you know, I've got my lead in there. And uh, if, if there was no lead, I could just click until it came out again. So now I'm good to go. And um, you may be looking at this uh, black band here. And this is like a rubber coating. It's actually just a grip so that when you're holding the pencil, um, you know, the, the pencil's not sliding up and down uh, your fingers. It, you know, it gives you actually a good, some traction. It gives you a good hold on the pencil. So, um, so there it is. Uh, and, uh, just to specify, I like to use an HB lead. Um, and now the the that the HB what that refers to for those who don't know, that refers to how hard the lead is, the graphite, the the point that you're using in your pencil. Uh, and if you if you ever look up these leads or if you ever look up pencils, you'll know there is what we call the HB scale. Uh, if you, if you see, let me see if you can see it closely, see that HB, some pencils will have that HB on this. some wooden pencils. Um, not this, not this one, but, um, sometimes you'll see a wooden pencil and it will have, let's see if I have some other pencils over here. Uh, no, no, I don't, but. You, you on some pencils you will see this HB uh, uh, written so usually up high close to the eraser it'll say HB or it may say H or 1H 2H 3H uh, what that means is H refers to the hard end of this of the scale so uh, if you have an H pencil you have a harder pencil that means that the pencil is going to be lighter. It's going to be harder to shade with it, um, but it's going to be easier for you to remain light with it. So it's good for some very light sketching before you really commit to heavy rendering. Now, the other end of the scale is the B end. So you could have a B pencil, uh, 1B, 2B, 3B. The higher the number, the the softer the pencil is so the b end of the scale refers to soft leads now the hb which i like to use is right in the middle of the scale so this is neither too hard nor too soft um, some people use a variety of pencils uh, you know they like to draw with an h pencil a b pencil I, I do everything with the HB, and, and I get lighter or darker uh, by adjusting the pressure of my hand. So um, this is this is my preferred lead. So I, I usually will, anytime I'm in the art store, and um, most of my art supplies I get at the Joe Kubert School Arts Art Store, uh, which is which you could find online. 
I, I maybe I'll, I'll I'll do them a favor, and I'll I'll uh, link to them in the description below. And by the way, I just I just want to be clear uh, because I I guess I've been doing a nice uh, plug for Alvin here. Um, I you know I I'm not getting any kickbacks from Alvin. This isn't any a paid promotional spot. Um, I'm not getting any freebies. Uh, I'm just I'm just throwing out there uh, the information about what I use. So don't take this as any sort of sponsor sponsorship or commercial because uh, I'm getting nothing. Um, I'm just letting you know the the tools that I use. Okay, so those are my two Alvin pencils. Now, believe it or not, here is a plain old Papermate Sharp Writer which is a, a number two pencil, the classic number two pencil. Uh, the number two pencil, um, and there's no H or B after that number two, the number two pencil, I believe, is, is really an HB pencil. I believe it's right in the middle of the spectrum. Um, now, why do I have this one? I use this one, and even though it's, it's a number two, it, it feels, it's, feels like a very soft lead. And in the, in the case of this pencil, the way you would, it's a mechanical pencil, as you can see, you know, plastic body. Um, but what you do is you turn the tip here and that extends the point. And you can turn it the other way and that retracts the point. Now these are totally disposable. Okay, these are totally disposable. So once the, once the nib wears off, um, once the point is, has worn away, you, you just have to throw these out. You know, you, you eventually will get to a point where you just can't turn any more uh, point out of it. So once that's happened, once you've used up all the, all the lead inside, you just throw these out. Um, and usually I, I buy these boxes of these. Um, they're not, they're not expensive at all. I think there's a, there's like a $10 box, which, which brings like, I don't know, I think like 20 of these pencils. Um, I, I've got tons of them all over the place. So I, I'm always using these. And what I use these for, the, these are really my sketching pencils for, for fast, quick sketches. Um, I, I believe that's a 0.5 millimeter uh, tip. So it's, a, it's a, you know, it's, it's comparable to my, my regular pencil. Um, but I use this when I when I'm not out to be very uh, exact, very precise. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do roughs and thumbnails with this pencil, and then when I want to get a little bit more precise, I'll break out my comfortable uh, Alvin over here uh, with the 0.5 millimeter. So uh, those are the those are the two pencils that I use, uh, the three rather. Now, sometimes for some special occasions, I will use this wooden pencil. Now, this pencil, as you can see, I like a nice sharp point on it. Uh, what I like to do, and this is a very soft pencil, by the way. Um, this is a, I use this pencil anytime I'm doing any sort of delicate shading, any sort of delicate rendering, I'll use this pencil. Um, and th this one is actually uh, a student of mine many years ago gave me this, uh, gave me a box of these pencils. So all I have of this pencil is just the box of it. Uh, and as you could see, I don't know if you could see this, um, it, it says drafting on the side, uh, drafting spelled D-R-A-U-G-H-T-I-N-G, which is the British form, the English form of spelling uh, the word drafting. Um, but I, the, the student who gave me this, uh, told me these pencils are, are out of production. So this box that he gave me is, is the last of the pencils. And, and believe me, I've been using them sparingly, but for any sort of delicate shading where I really want to go in and render something, I'll use this one. You know, I, I mostly use the, that point, see that nice long point. I'll use that point on its side and I'll do a lot of uh, shading with it. So, so that's it. Those are the four pencils that I use mostly. Um, and what I'm gonna do is in upcoming videos, give you uh, a demo in how I use these. So um, keep checking back. Uh, and uh, as always, uh, subscribe 
subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified uh, of uh, upcoming videos. Um, and as I always say, if you uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, click like. Um, don't be shy about sharing because that's how we uh, spread the word about the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I try and answer every question that people pose. So please, if um, you know if you're wondering about any of these uh, any of these pencils, um, uh, I. I don't know if I mentioned it before. I think I, I was about to mention it. Somebody had told me that the Alvin pencils are actually uh, out of production. They're not making these anymore, which I hope is not true because, uh, like I said, this is my preferred pencil. And, um, and you know, when you draw as much as I do, that tool that you use, um, you really depend on it. It really starts to mean a lot. So I, I really hope that the day this pencil goes on me, that I'll be able to, to replace it uh, easily. Um, but that's it. So that's it for me. Uh, as I said, please click like. If you enjoyed this, please comment below, uh, subscribe, share, and uh, come back for the next video. And, of course, very importantly, no matter what pencil you use, keep drawing. Keep drawing, everybody. Keep drawing. Bye-bye, everybody.